Hey there, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas. Uh, today I'm with the San Diego Rover Club and we're on Burns Canyon Road and we're up on the, about the most technical part of it now, which is not, not really super technical, but um, crawling up here and um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, overlanding clubs because uh, if you're going to overland, it's probably a good thing to have somebody with you. Um, if you have a mechanical issue, breakdown, get into trouble, uh, having other people with you is a good thing. Now, personally, I do a lot of off-roading by myself. Of course, I'm very cautious in those scenarios. I don't I don't do a lot of things that would get me into trouble, but you know, accidents happen and you, you never can plan for an accident. But um, having a group of like-minded people, it's, it's, it's kind of a fun social event. Uh, most clubs are, they have people of various levels of um, four by four knowledge. Uh, you have people that are mechanical and if you get into an issue with your rig, probably got somebody that can help you uh, determine what the problem is and um, so it's kind of nice to travel with a group and have you know sit around the campfire afterwards and shoot all the all of the tight spots that you got into and all of the challenges that you had and um, you know this is why I overland it's it's a great sport um, it's it gets you outside gets you out to see nature and stuff and um, you can challenge yourself every time you challenge yourself a little bit um, with a trail that's a little harder you just get a little bit better so there's various types of of clubs there are like toyota clubs and land rover clubs and obviously jeep clubs and nissan clubs and I don't think I've ever seen a G-Wagon club, but maybe maybe there is. And um, there's also vehicle, not vehicle specific clubs, which are really great because you get a mixture of different people and they have all different kinds of rigs. Um, so I like to do that. I also like to travel with the Land Rover um, Club. I'm both a member of the San Diego Land Rover Club and also the SoCal Land Rover Club. And um, both of them are just a, a great bunch of guys and they challenge you and you can go out on different trips and see different things. Um, most clubs usually will have um, different, different runs that are, have different uh, abilities. So they'll have a difficult run and maybe a easier run. Um, so don't feel that you have to you know, be an expert when you join a club. In fact, that's a really good way to get um, get better at your four-wheeling abilities. Anyway, um, almost to the top here and uh, getting up into where we're going to start to see some, some pine trees and everything. Well, we made it to camp. Uh, we're at a group uh, campsite with the club. A nice day, nice trip. And I just wanted to kind of finalize some thoughts on uh, on running with a, a group of people. So, um, as I said, it really is a nice thing to do both uh, socially. You can find people that have similar interests to yourselves. And um, nice to have some camaraderie around the campfire and stuff like that. Um, great if you have a couple people that are knowledgeable mechanically so they can help you. And obviously if you get stuck, uh, having some recovery gear and getting towed out to uh, the nearest road where you can get a AAA truck is, is nice because getting somebody back uh, backcountry is very, very expensive. Um, so... Definitely would consider it. Uh, look it up on uh, online. Find a club near you. Uh, go to a couple of their events and see if it's a match or not. And uh, important thing is to get outside and then enjoy yourself. 